The man. Sharon sure makes some amazing coffee. If I'd had a cup of that, I would have been banging down the door to join class seven months ago. <laughs> you flatter me, Master Crow. Would you like me to bring some of the cakes I baked earlier as well? <laughs> Do you even need to ask? Anyway, sorry it kind of came out of nowhere, but it's good to be here. Looks like he's already made himself at home. Sharon didn't seem to miss a beat either. <laughs> so you're gonna be living here too, huh? Yep. Us newcomers have to stick together, right? I just finished hauling all my stuff over from my old dorm. Looks like I ended up in the room right across from yours, Reen. Uh, I see. I can already see things getting a lot more lively around here. Ooh, man. Moving all those things really tired me out. I was hoping I could just stow all my junk in my old room, but Toa wouldn't let me. Well, of course she wouldn't. <laughs> he must be pretty exhausted. Well, I suppose now's as good a time as any to officially welcome you to the Class 7 dormitory. The pleasure's mine. And seriously, you don't have to make a big deal out of it. Come on, loosen up a little. We're classmates now. Just treat me like one of the gang and we're golden. You sure about that? All right, one of the gang it is. Feels weird to think of you that way after all this time. <sighs> If you insist. <laughs> well, don't strain yourself too hard there, Blondie. I'll thank you to never call me that again. Need a rest before we even get there. <sighs> yeah, I wasn't expecting this path to be so steep. Eat left! Man, you city slickers need to toughen up. Left, right, left, right! Hello? Reen Schwarzer speak. Reen? What are you doing? Oh, it's just you, Elisa. Well, what do you mean it's just you? Is it true some girl invited you out for a night on the town? Whoa, hold on. Late night date? I thought you only had eyes for me, Reen. <laughs> anyway, good job, kiddo. You better spill all the details later, huh? <sighs> so tired. The air here is so fresh, especially for a city with this many factories. It must be because we're up in the mountains. I'll say, compared to the capital, the air quality is pristine. <laughs> well, the capital does have a few hundred thousand more people living there. Uh, sure is a nice day today, isn't it, Elisa? Hm, not as nice as last night must have been. I told you, I I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll bet you are. I cannot believe you! After all those things you said to me last night, you go rushing out to meet another girl! Ooh, the skies might be clear, but I'm sensing a stormy forecast today. Tittered. Even if we assume Captain Claire is trustworthy, I'm not sure how wise it was to go out on your own. I know, I know. In hindsight, I regret keeping it to myself. Still, it was pretty bold of Captain Claire to show up alone to meet Reed. Even dressed down, I wouldn't have thought she'd go out alone with the Provincial Army on patrol. I'm guessing she's more than strong enough to handle herself. Not sure what her weapon of choice is, though. Oh, I wish I could have seen her all dolled up, though. But she was a real knockout. Come on, that would put a spring in any man's step. I don't blame you for sneaking out alone. Oh! No! It's not like I knew she was going to show up wearing a cocktail dress. I swear! You seemed pretty taken by her when she showed up yesterday, though. And your eyes were glued to her right up until she left the scene. Oh, really? 
So while we were enjoying a quiet evening, you were out carousing with a beautiful woman, were you? You lucky son of I mean for shame, Reed! We are here representing the Academy on a field study! I swear, you guys are just making things up at this point. 